This one's going to leave you shaking your head at the very least. A teacher, married mother of three, turned herself in to cops, walks into the police station with her lawyer, apparently said she had sex with one of her 14-year-old students. Here she is, Amy Beck. She taught sixth grade, Burbank, California. She's 33, respected teacher, again, married to a police officer. Now cops say she confessed to having sex with a student half her age and doing it for months. If convicted, she faces seven years in prison. I believe she's still behind bars now. We'll take your calls, one eight seven seven tell hln Joining us to talk about this, Max Zimbert, reporter for the Burbank Leader in Burbank, California. Carol Shakeshaft is going to join us, an expert on and educator on sexual misconduct. She's also a professor of Virginia Commonwealth University. Joining us as well, Sergeant Robert Quesada from the Burbank Police Department. Sergeant, well, tell us about the scene. What do you know about her turning herself in and what, uh, what made her do it? Well, Mike, uh, what happened was last Monday, uh, Ms. Beck came to the police department and, along with her attorney, and she just uh, wanted to confess uh, that she's been having uh, inappropriate sexual relations with a, uh, a male student of hers. Uh, we then uh, went out to contact the student who verified the story of Ms. Beck. We then placed her under arrest and uh, booked her for Ludax uh, with a child. She's still behind bars now, Sergeant? Yes, she appeared at the, the Burbank Court today, this morning. Uh, they uh, postponed the arraignment, but she's been trans uh, transported down to the L.A. County Jail System. Okay. Uh, how's the student doing, Sergeant? Uh, that I don't know, mm -hmm. uh, Mike. Uh, I don't have any information on, on the young man. Uh, all I know, he's still in a school system. Uh, we just don't know where he's at. Okay, let's get Max in on this. Mac, Max, doing, any, uh, yeah, welcome here on this one. It's just baffling. Um, how's the student? Is the family talking? His family I'm talking about? Uh, family so far hasn't talked. Uh, we have seen, uh, I believe it's uh, Mrs. Beck's mother, but uh, there's been no comment, nothing really to say on that front. Uh, we don't know anything about the kid. We've been trying to, you know, get a read on that, but really there's nothing to report. Uh, school district isn't sure if he's in the system still or is not. They uh, don't even have his name, they tell me at least. Uh, Max, are our students talking? I mean, obviously word like this gets around. What do we know about reaction from students, yeah, other teachers? Yeah, you know, I presume students are buzzing, uh, but, you know, we kind of take what the kids say with a grain of salt and really prefer to connect with adults um, as far as, you know, what is actually happening on the ground. What are parents saying, parents of the, of the school? Uh, parents are saying a lot of things. I mean, of course, they are unhappy about the behavior, but they also say that the school, uh, Jordan Middle School, is also a, a sound school, and the kids are usually uh, pretty pleased with their teachers there. Um, and it's also a tight community. I mean, they're rallying behind uh, the staff. Uh, last night was open house of all nights at the school. Mm. And, uh, you know, for, by every indication, from parents from the district, by school uh, staff themselves, I mean, things seem to be going about as well as they can and uh, I guess it's you know the kid in question isn't at that school any longer okay. um, and that's really all we know. Okay Sergeant did did she give any reason why when she uh, made this confession? Uh, well, detectives talked to her and uh, what they what they told me is that uh, she just had a, a a guilt she just carrying this guilt with her since last year and uh, she was overcome with it and felt the only the only way to relieve it was just to tell the truth about what happened. Okay. Uh, what about any other students that she may have preyed upon, Sergeant? Well, we thought about that. And so uh, right now, Mike, we don't have any information to indicate there were other victims. But uh, we have served a search warrant on Ms. Beck's, uh, Ms. Beck's home, see some computers. And so we're going to be looking through those computers. And if we do find additional victims, then we will interview them and we will uh, file additional charges if that comes across. But right now... Uh, we don't have anything that indicate there are any other uh, victims out there.